you say, folks? Right on schedule. Right, next time, I'd just soon be late. Well, I'm sorry if the ride was a little bit rough on you. Nah, I'm sure you are. Well, I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. <laughs> Let's get them packs out here, sir. You got a package for me, Charlie? Oh, honey, no. I can't say it's a do, Joe. We're supposed to be on at 2 o'clock. Where? From San Francisco? Yeah. Oh, well, that's it, then. I mean, we missed our connection to three for us. It'll be on at 6 o'clock, though. You sure it's going to be on at 6 o'clock? Oh, yeah, got to be. Because if it ain't, we'll be here Lamar. I think that old Charlie can always depend on him to give you a straight answer. Yeah, mm -hmm. Pardon me. Could you tell me where the Virginia City Hotel is? Oh, yeah. It's right up the end of the street. You can't miss it. Thank you. Okay. Well, we got four hot hours to kill. Come on. I'll buy you beer. Sounds good to me. Feel better? Yes, the bath was fine. You're all dressed. Are you going out? Yeah, I thought I'd uh, look around town for a bit. Is there something wrong with that? I've been cooped up in that stage for a week. I just want to get out for a while. <laughs> I just asked if you were going out. Well, I am. Why are you taking the money with you? Look, we've been through all this before. I'm not going to do anything. I'm, I'm just going to take it down to the bank. It'd be a lot safer there than letting it hang around here, don't you think? All right, then stop worrying. We came out here to get a fresh start. Everything's in the past. I've changed. <laughs> You've got to change, too. You've got to trust me. I'll be back soon. And if you're a good girl, I'll bring you back a surprise. for the dealer. Gentlemen, the price of poker just went up to $500. Who rich for me? I'm still in. Last card. Three nines, about a thousand. I'll see you. 
to raise you 1400 Could just be that you have a third jack facing the table. There's only one way to find out. You're right. But it uh, doesn't really matter. But you see, I have the fourth nine. Your deal, Mr. Harper. Um, that's all the money I have with me. I'll have to make out a marker for... No markers, Mr. Harper. We play for cash. You have to give me a chance to break even. Harper, I don't have to give you anything. Deal passes to you, old-timer. No! All right, leave him alone. Stay out of this. Look, you stuck it on him once, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you lying there. Hey, you all right? Come on, man. I just said this was his room. Bring him in. You can put him in there. Just take it easy. Yeah, there was a fight. He didn't get hurt real bad. He just needs to sleep it off. I know. He drinks more than he fights. I see you managed to get all of his money. What? I should thank you. You're the first one who ever bothered to bring him home. Or did you think there might be a little something left? If you thought that you're wrong, there's nothing left. There never is. Look, lady, I didn't come here to find out about any money, and I didn't take the money he had with him. He got in a card game he shouldn't have. I just brought him home, that's all. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing him home. Uh, no need, I eh? guess we both lost our tempers. I didn't have any right to bite your head off either. Friends? Friends. Uh, Doc Martin's a good man if your husband's hurting when he wakes up. He's my brother. Oh. Doc's the best in town. I'll remember that. Thank you, Mr. Cartwright, Joe Cartwright. Alice Harper. I guess I better be going. Bye. Goodbye. All right, fellas, let's clean it up. Hey, you're really moving along, huh? Said you went the logging road dead in a hurry. That's the way we're doing it. Where's Joe? Uh, right down through the trees, planting some more dynamite. Ah. Well, I'll look in on him. I'll be back to give you a hand. All right, we'll be there. How's it going, Joe? Yeah, we're going pretty good so far. Got all the easy stuff out of the way. A lot of heavy stuff to clear the rest of the way down. Uh, we're gonna need some more dynamite pretty soon. Mm. Uh, this letter came for you. Oh, thanks. I'll send one to town for it. You know, you ought to have to go deeper with that charges. I'll be darned. That's yeah, about 18 inches deeper, and I'd probably have to double the charge, too. No reason to go and do that. Well, yes, there is. They're going to move the stump out of here. Joe? Joseph? Hmm? I was saying you're going to have a problem moving the stump out of here. No, no, I won't have any problem. I'll just leave it about 18 inches and double the charges. I want to bring an idea. I'll have Will bring the dynamite out of here as quick as we can make it. Uh, no, I'll, I'll do it. I'll get it. I want to make sure it's right. Hmm. You suit yourself. See you at supper. Yeah. See you at supper.
May I help you? Hmm? I said, may I help you? Uh, yeah, thank you. I, uh, I'd like to buy just a little present for a friend. A very close friend, I take it. Oh, no, no. So what, what I want is something more like a, a hat. I'd like to buy a hat. I see. Uh, Miss Harper will help you. She's in charge of the hat department. Thank you. The hat department is over here. Oh. Miss Harper will be right with you. Thank you. Pleasure to see you. It's nice to see you. I want to thank you for your thank you, no? Oh, well, it was the least I could do. My brother told me everything that happened. Well, I understand that you want to buy a hat. We just have a new shipment in from St. Louis. I love this one. I think it's really lovely. What do you think? It was nice. I, well, I, I don't know too much about hats. I know what you mean. But it's not the easiest thing to pick out for a woman. Without her trying it on, I mean. Well, perhaps you'd like to consider something else for Mrs. Cartwright. A well, shawl? There is no Mrs. Cartwright. Oh, well. well see, I, I really didn't want to buy anything. I, uh, I just came in to thank you for the thank you note and ask you if you'd have dinner with me tonight. I'd like that. How's eight o'clock? Eight's fine. I'll see you at eight. Funny little sister, I thought I was late. <laughs> I lost the key. <laughs> you look very nice. You, you always look very nice. John, you told me you were going to look for a job. Well, I lied. But I always do, don't I? You always look very nice, and I always lie. And I always forgive you. I can't, John. I can't take care of you anymore. I'm sorry. I had a few drinks, but I'll get a job tomorrow. I promise. I don't care what you do tomorrow. I want you out of here tonight. I'm not going to be like Mother John. I'm not going to spend my life making excuses for you. And die listening to your promises. I'm moving into a single room in the morning. I expect you to be gone by then. Hi. You ready? Goodbye, John. I guess I wasn't hungry. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I... I shouldn't have come over to the store. I, I kind of put you on the spot when I asked you to go out with me. I oh, know. No, I'm... I'm glad you did. I wanted... It has nothing to do with you. You sure? I'm sure. If it has nothing to do with me, and you really wanted to go out with me, then why are you messing up my evening? I mean, really. You know, it took an awful lot of nerve for me to go in that store with all those women and ask you to go out with me. They're all looking at me. What's so funny? I don't know. You just made me laugh. Well, I'd rather... Not in the way you're laughing, then in the way you're crying. 
All right, then we go. Where do we go? Well, there's only one place that a man takes a woman on a night like this. Where's that? To the bar. <laughs> I don't believe that. Well, it's true. I crossed my heart when Annie was a kid. He ate bugs. All kinds of bugs. Certainly didn't hurt his fiddle playing any. Well, it never hurt anything Annie ever did. I remember when we were kids, we'd sit around and watch him eat these bugs, you know, and bees. He couldn't get enough of bees. No, really, we'd sit around and watch him eat these bugs and figure he was going to die, you know. When he got a little bit older, he could run faster and jump farther than anybody else in Virginia City. They would all sit around and figure we should eat bugs when we were little. I don't know. I really don't know when to believe you. They can always believe me. I may not always be telling the truth, but you can always believe me. Thank you. I had a wonderful time. Yeah, same here. Hey, look, I'll um, walk you up to your room if you want. No, thank you. I'm fine. Thank you again. I really had a good time. Well, it, was, it was my pleasure. Good night. Uh, uh, can I see you again? Yes. It's tomorrow too soon. No. What time to get off work? I'm off tomorrow. It's Sunday. Oh, I forgot. All right, well, let me uh, let me pick you up early. Say two o'clock. Fine. I'll see you too then. Did you have a good time? Now don't worry. I'm all packed. I'm going to Carson City. I just want to say goodbye. Goodbye. I'm sorry. I told you, John, it's not going to work this time. That's not why I'm saying this. I know that I've made a mess of my life so far. 
I've hurt a lot of people. And you're right to send me away. It is for my own good. And if I ever want to make it, it'll have to be on my own. Be happy. You're really happy you took me for a ride today. Done nothing but tell you my troubles. <laughs> don't be silly. You didn't hear me complain, did you? Well, I don't think I've been quiet long enough to give you a chance. I'm a good listener. Right. Anyway, no more. Joe Cartwright, I promise I will not spoil your day. Alice Harper, the only thing that could spoil my day would be not having you with me. Beautiful. That's my favorite place. Brother Haas and I used to come here when we were kids. We didn't do anything special. We just sit and look at it. We used to call it our happy place. You really loved him, didn't you? I think everybody did. He was that kind of guy. Do you know I spent my whole life in the city dreaming of a place like this? Somewhere quiet, clean. I'm glad you didn't stay in the city. Some, uh, some stew in the kitchen. No, thanks. We had dinner at town. Dinner? Uh, dinner? Two nights in a row? Sounds like he's getting serious. Uh huh. Well, I better be serious. I'm gonna ask that girl to marry me. See you in the morning.
Hurry up with the nails, will you? Hold your horses, will you, Joe? I never see anything like you. You ain't getting married for four more weeks. You're running around here like it's tomorrow afternoon. I just want to get the house ready on time, if you don't mind. But if you get it finished too soon, you ain't gonna have anything to do but sit around and get panicky. Yeah, for your information, I'm not even nervous. Oh, yeah? Then how come you're nailing your fingers to the roof? <laughs> oh, you keep your mind on your work and never mind the jokes, little brother. <laughs> hey, it looks like you got company. You keep working. Hey, Joe, don't take too long now. I want to make sure this place gets ready on time. You just keep working like I told you. Be all right, those two. Yes, sir, they're going to be all right. Hey, Jack, I buy another one. You're getting down kind of early, ain't you, Mr. Harper? Celebrate, Jack. Celebrate. My sister's getting married today over in Virginia City. How come you didn't make the wedding? <laughs> I guess I just wasn't up to it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yes, size, why spoil her day? You know what I told her I was uh, doing? I wrote her that I was working on a big land deal. And I couldn't get away. Dear little sister, I told you I'd make it on my own, and I have. I'm at work on a big land deal, and I'm sorry, but I just can't make the wedding. Congratulations. said you weren't nervous. Well, I lied. Just see if you get it tied up. Huh? All right. Far ready yet? Only since sunrise. Hey, what, what time is it? Well, Joseph, it's a, it's time. It's time. All right, let's go.
are gathered here today to bring these two people together in holy matrimony. A whole new life will begin for the two of you today. A life of sharing not just the joys, but the sorrows too. It won't always be easy. Life never is. You have to work at it and work hard. But you will find that there is great strength in love. Do you, Alice Harper, take this man to be your lawful wedded husband, to love, honor, and cherish till death do you part? I do. And do you, Joe Cartwright, take this woman to be your lawful wedded wife, to love, honor, and cherish till death do you part? I do. I'll repeat after me. With this ring, I thee wed. With this ring, I thee wed. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Those whom God hath joined together, let no man put asunder.
I gotta close. Come on, it's late. I've been here since 8 o'clock this morning. So have I. Well, that's your problem, not mine. Now, let's go. How true. How very true. It is my problem. And I must work it out on my own. I know it's getting late. No, I'm almost done. Your pa said supper at six. We've been late the last three times. Well, whose fault is that? Never you mind. You just get a move on, okay? Being late. I've been waiting for you to button me up. Uh, the buttons. The buttons. Oh, right. Is this an address? Oh, typical husband you are. You've only seen me in it ten times. Well, it's so darn tight, I can hardly hook it up. Hmm? Mm hmm This material shrinks sometimes. There, I got it. Well, I must say tight or not, you look very lovely. Mr. Harper, we've been waiting for you. Mr. Damien wants his money. I'll have it in a few days. I told you. Mr. Damien's getting impatient. Now we're asking nice this time. 48 hours from now, we won't be asking so nice. You understand? 48 hours, Mr. Harper. I understand. Don't you ever stop? Not unless I have to. I swear, you worked harder the last few months you've been married than all the years you worked the Ponderosa. That's because I don't have candy there holding me back all the time. And I'll remember that next time you need some help or something. <laughs> we passed Alice on the road away back. Why don't you come home for lunch? I should pack my lunch. Now, you said it was important. Oh, she's fixing you something special. You're a married man now. You gotta do what your wife tells you. Yeah. Now, for your information, I was gonna quit after I finished taking this hole anyway. Yeah, we'll see. Okay. Come on, Jim. Take care, Bob. Alice? In the kitchen. We're gonna have 
I'll have a bill in half an hour. I, just, I, can't, I can't believe it, a baby. Are, are you all right? You feel all right? I'm fine. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Really, I'm, I'm sure. Now, come on, eat something. Oh, I couldn't eat. I couldn't eat if I was starving to death. I just can't believe it, a baby. I gotta tell Paul. Hey, maybe, maybe I can catch him before he gets home. drinks more than he fights. I see you managed to get all of his money. Look, lady, I didn't come here to find out about any money, and I didn't take the money he had with him. He got in a card game he shouldn't have. I just brought him home, that's all. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. I'm sorry. Thank you for bringing him home. Friends? Friends. Favorite place. Brother Hoss and I used to come here when we were kids. We didn't do anything special, we just sit and look at it. We used to call it our happy place. You really loved him, didn't you?
Nice night for a walk, isn't it, John? Isn't it, John? You disappoint me, John. You really do. I trusted you. You owe me money, a great deal of money. You promised to pay me, and you haven't. Da Damien, I will pay you. I just need a few more days. I told you. I know what you told me. You told me you had a bank draft coming in from St. Louis. Yes, yes, I do. And it'll be here in just a few days. There is no bank draft, is there, John? Yes, there. I swear there is. Lying is a sin, John. A man must pay for his sins. Hadley? No, 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 please, please. I, I, please. All right. All right. I lied. I'm sorry. I was scared. I thought that my luck would change, that I could win some of the money back. I let you play on credit, and you've never really meant to pay me. It's not true. I will pay you. I'll get the money somewhere. Where? I don't know. That's not good enough. Henry. No, wait, wait. My sister, she's got the money. She got married three, four months ago to a fellow that's got plenty. She'll give it to me. Five thousand is a lot of money. Her husband's got it. His father owns a big spread. His name's Cartwright. Believe me, he's got plenty of money. I suppose you wonder what I'm doing. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you anyway. I was, see, I was putting the cradle in different places around the room to see where the baby would get a lot of sun and have a nice view at the same time. Uh, well, um, why don't you put it right in the center? See, so then the baby can look straight up. Because if you keep pulling around with the cradle, this room is never going to get a roof on it. Okay? Is, is it big enough? The room? The room, yeah, it's a big one. Plenty big. I can make it a lot bigger. No. I think it's perfect. Suppose you have twin. Would you not say that? <laughs> I'm going to have plenty of trouble just taking care of one at a time. Thank you. Very much. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. Very much. I think two years in these wouldn't be too bad, though, would it? We're going to have as many use and as you want. Okay? Right now, I think we ought to get the first room finished. Finished. All right. I'm going to go over to Boston and get some more lumber. Say hello for me. Will do. I'll see if the family wants to have supper with us. We've got plenty. I will. I love you. Good supper. No point in rushing it. You gotta let Hobson get that pie finished. You know how he's gonna feel if we go off and leave it. Yeah, I know what you mean. Say, hey, uh, what's it uh, feel like knowing you're gonna be your papa? I tell you, he gets nervous, can't sleep at night. Huh? Well, let me be He's never gonna let you sleep. <laughs> I don't think you understand how serious this situation really is. I understand exactly how serious it is for you. I hardly think you're in any position to threaten me. Not if you care about your brother. He really has some very fine qualities, you know. I would advise you to leave my brother right here and take your friends and go. My husband and his family will be here any minute, and I don't think they'll take too kindly to your being here. What a shame. I had hoped we could be such good friends. Look what I found.
This is lovely, Mrs. Cartwright. A gift from your husband. The stones look quite good. I don't know if it covers the full amount owed to me. But it's better than nothing. Give me back the box. Get out of my house. Give me back the box. Get out of my house. I'll only ask you one more time, and then I'll have to let Mr. Hanley take it from you. Don't touch it! Mrs. Cartwright. Tell how it started, Clem. Could have been the stove. More than likely was. Yeah. I never did see a fire burn any hotter than this one. Sheriff, take a look over here. Like another body, what's left of one. I wonder who it is. Well, there's no way to tell. You better. Wrap it up and put it in the wagon with, with the woman, then head back to town. We know, O oh God, that you will welcome Alice Cartwright to your kingdom with open arms. And we pray that with that knowledge, her husband and her loved ones will find comfort. Help them, O oh Lord, to forget this tragedy and to remember only the beauty and the love that was Alice Cartwright. Amen.
Good to see you. Always welcome to our house. It's getting kind of late. I was just wondering where you were. Say, oh, Pa. Always worrying, huh? No, I, I wasn't worried. Oh, no, come on now, come on. You were worrying? Well, there's nothing to worry about you. Heard the preacher today. is in heaven and you think about the good times. and mine and our babies. I never I never got the baby's room finished, you know. I thought it was too sp small, but I told Alice I could make it bigger. Plenty big. hear from you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if I'm where I'm just going to keep moving. Just need a little time. Then help. Take care.
May have a beer with. Did you settle for whiskey? Beer went skunky on me. Yeah, whiskey'd be fine. Looks like you've been on the trail for a while. Yeah, I don't mind. Well, that delivery stable said he had rooms to rent. Well, sure do. Ain't the greatest, but the beds are sleepable. That's fine. Let's see. Six. End of the hall. That's 25 cents for the room and 50 cents for the whiskey. I keep the change. Get it. Sleep good. Where did you get that music box? Listen, mister, you get out of here. Where'd you get it? Where did you get it? It's mine. You get out of here. Now you hold on! Get out of here! He was a little fella. He... He talked real proper, real fancy. What was his name? Damien. Damien, that was it. His last name? I, I don't know. His friends just called him Damien. His friends? What were their names? I... I, I don't know. Hank! Three fellas he had with him. I don't know. One of them was big and mean looking. Never said anything. This this Damien did all the talking. How long ago did they leave? A couple of weeks. They stayed in town for a while gambling. Cleaned everybody out. Mentioned something about. Working their way to Frisco. I don't know anymore. I swear it. Horses are saddled. 
Joe, l let me go with you. No, I want you to ride into town. Tell Clem what happened. Have more of the law in San Francisco. They can notify the jewelry stores to keep an eye out for the necklace. It'll be our only lead if they beat us to Frisco. All right. Kenny and I will check every little town on the way. Let's go. Better wire your pawn Carson City, too. All right. Should I tell them to try to catch up with you? No, not enough time. Just tell them, tell them we'll get them. towns for Frisco. Barlow, Thornton. We better get going. Excellent. A pleasant surprise in such plebeian surroundings. I want to get out of this place. It's driving me nuts. There's nothing to do around here. I say when we can go. Well, I wish you'd hurry up and decide. I don't hurry anything! That's what I like about Mr. Hanley here. Yeah. He doesn't hurry either. He enjoys every moment. Savors it. Like you would a fine wine. You've angered me, Slow. I think you ought to be more like Mr. Hanley. Hanley. Cut out his tongue. Come on, you gotta be joking. I thought you knew me far better than that. Now, wait a minute. I... I didn't mean nothing by that. I'm sorry. Hey, look, I said I was sorry. Look, call him off, will you? Don't call him! Please! You ought to be forgiven! 
Yeah. You kneel when you ask for forgiveness. Come forward. Yes, Sloan. Was forgiven. Be rested by now. I'll get him saddled up. One dollar a night for two. Extra 50 cents if you want a bath. We don't need a room. We're looking for some men. There's four of them. One's named Damien. Mr. Damien, you friends of his? And he's here? Was here. Wonderful man, real gentleman. How long ago did they leave? Four, maybe five hours ago. Left me a five dollar tip. It's gonna be tough tracking at night. We'll need torches. We'll need some fresh horses too. Where's the livery? Why are you looking for him? Where's the livery? All the way up the north end of the street. He wouldn't do nothing wrong. I told you, he's a gentleman. Who they could be. Well, it doesn't matter. How far behind us would you say they are? Two, maybe three hours at the pace they're going. It'll be daylight in three hours. Mr. Hanley and I will go on ahead until we find some fresh water. You two stay behind and kill them. seen him before. There's one thing for sure. Never gonna see him again. Take your numbers. Hear it? Mm-hmm. Over there. 
that knoll. Be safe for going on in 50 yards. Then move. I'm all right. over there, you're going to talk. Oh, I, I don't want no part of this. Look, I, I didn't mean you any harm. I don't even know you! You know my wife. Danger! Your wife? What else? My wife. You burned my house. No, that wasn't me. It was Damien and Hanley, they done it. Look, I, I was there, but I, I didn't have nothing to do with it. Damien, he let Hanley kill her. And then they burned the house. That's the truth. Where are they? They rode on ahead to look for water. We're supposed to meet them there. Stay with him. Hanley! I don't like it. I thought they would have been here by now. If anything's gone wrong, those two will still be following us. I wouldn't like that. I wouldn't like that at all. Build a fire. We'll be ready if company come. where I can see him. Whatever you're saying. That means you too. I'm afraid that won't do any good. There's no one under that blanket. Mr. Hanley! Did he ride in alone? 
could have had Mr. Hanley kill you right away. But I'd like to know why I'm being followed. It makes me very uneasy not knowing why. You killed my wife. Why? Oh, yes. It must be Carfax. But how did you connect us? We burned all the evidence. Not the music box. Music box. That's right. Now, that was stupid of me, I must admit. But no one's perfect. You see, women happen to be my only vice. Now, you take Mr. Hanley here. He doesn't have that problem. He has a much different way of dealing with women. I'm afraid your wife was an example. Mr. Hanley, give me the rifle. Well, you and Mr. Cartwright have something to settle. You did kill his wife. And since we have no judge or jury here, I think the fairest way is through trial by combat. Let the trial begin, Mr. Hadley. Disappoint me, Carl, right? The Bible says an eye for an eye. You should have killed him. You had the right. I'll give you one more chance. So big. Oh, I wouldn't have let him! 